Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get app links to your Fire Stick as well as show you the best codes which you can use in 2024. The whole setup is really easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. Now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get app links to your Fire Stick. First of all, you will have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. So just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. Usually there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So scroll to the right side and click on that button with the gear icon. Then scroll down until you see my Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of applications on your device. Here it is, open it, and there is the downloader application, which we already got to your device. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, got a great application for Fire Stick, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, and that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 3 months for free, and then use the loader safely. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then the easiest way to get this deal is to get your mobile phone and visit the link you see on the screen. It's topvpnoffer.com. It's going to send you to the best available NordVPN offer. Then we can finally open the downloader app. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. And then here you see such a search bar, which is going to appear. So we open it, and in the search bar, we are going to type a link, which you will see on your screen in a moment. So here's the link, it's applinked.store. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on your screen, and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work for you. And after that, click on go. Now the official website of AppLinked is going to open, here it is. And the first thing we see is a warning to beware of copycat websites and that the only official website for AppLinked is AppLinked.store. That's exactly the website which we have visited right now. So now just click on X right here. After that, scroll down a little bit until you see the download the app message. Click on download right here, and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Now click on install, and after that, after the app has been installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore. So we click on delete, and delete once again. This way we erased the unnecessary files from your device. Now click on the home button on your remote again, and we'll have to visit settings once more. So go to settings, then go to my Fire TV, go to developer options, install unknown apps, and turn that option for app linked as well. It is necessary to allow app linked to download other applications to your device. Now we can finally go to the list of applications on our Fire Stick, 
don't forget to keep a VPN connected and then scroll down to find the app linked application. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines, click on it and then press on move to front. This way app linked application is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Now we open the app linked and here what we have to do is firstly click on the add a store button. Let's click on it and there we'll be entering the codes which we need. So the first code is going to be 0, 7, 1, 3, 2, 1. So once again it's 0, 7, 1, 3, 2, 1. Make sure to enter the code exactly as you see and then click on next and click on submit right here. After that, what we have to do is go to Save Stores, click on Select a Store, and here is the 071321 store, which we need to select and click on. Then we click on Open, and then the library is going to open for you. Now you'll notice that my screen is blurred, because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact applications available in that library. However, I'll just tell you what can be found inside. There you'll find more than 200 applications of all kinds, movie applications, live TV apps, utility applications, web browsers, VPN applications, IPTV players, speed test apps, and so on. So hundreds of applications, which you can get to your device really easily, you just click on the app, hit download, and pretty much that's it. So that was the first library of the day, and now let me show you more libraries. Then we just click on the back button on our remote, and click on add a store again. Here we have to enter a new code, which is going to be 71977818818, click on next, click on submit, and once again we got to go to save stores and select our store from the list, then we click on open. Once again, as I mentioned, my screen is going to be blurry because I cannot show you the applications inside the library, but in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. Here inside you'll find around 8 applications, so a pretty decent number. There mostly you'll find movies, TV shows, live TV shows, some utility apps, and so on. But yeah, mostly it is movies and live TV, so I'm pretty sure you are going to like the library, which I just showed you. It seems to be pretty decent. And now let's go back again and I'll show you one more application for today. So let's enter a code, which is going to be 4554, click on next, click submit, and then once again go to save stores and select the store which we just added, click on open. And this library contains up to 250 applications inside, so that's an astonishing number to say the least. And there you'll be able to find all kinds of applications, be it movie applications, TV shows, live TV, sports, music, media players, app stores, browsers, utilities, just all kinds of applications and basically there are hundreds of them. So that's a lot of apps. Just select any that you want from the list, click on download and this way you'll be able to download the app to your device. Also, if at some point you wish to remove some of the saved stores from your app linked app, it's actually really easy to do, just go to delete a store, select a store that you want to delete, click on delete and that's it, this way it will be removed from your saved stores. And that's it, don't forget to get 3 months of NordVPN for free if you use the link in the pinned comment below or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get the same deal. And see you next time, bye bye.